Hi guys, it's Tracy from my grandma's teacups, and I just wanted to give you a bit of an update on my Mr. Darcy situation. Um, poor Mr. Darcy, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen. A um, couple days after he came home, I accidentally left him um, in my purse, kind of down low on the floor, and my new little Australian Shepherd, who was quite young at the time, decided that it looked like a lovely chew toy, which I'm sure it probably tasted really, really good. So this will actually maybe be the first taste test for the Chic Sparrow, but, oh, sorry about the jiggle, guys. I have like the worst shakes and I don't have a tripod right now up here, so, but I wanted to get this done so that I could show you guys. Um, some of my friends on Instagram suggested that I try rubbing the scratches and the bites out with coconut oil um, and also olive oil. And I did try that, but the gouges were really, really deep. So it actually, I couldn't move the scratches out of it because of that. So what I ended up doing is um, I took the brush that I use for making Care Bears. It's, I got it a long time ago, a Canadian Tire. Um, and it's, it's a barbecue cleaning brush or something, but it's tiny. Like it's about the size of a toothbrush, really. But it's got really hard wire. And I just... I did circular motion, tiny areas at a time, and I just kind of scrudged off the whole thing. And then um, after I had it all off, I went back with coconut oil. This is not from coconut oil. This is from one of my kids poured some coffee on it. But anyway, um, so yeah, it's got some new little splotches all over it. But the, from the Instagram pictures, you could see that the, the scratch marks were really, really deep. And by just doing small circular motions with the brush, I was able to work it out. Now, obviously, I wouldn't do this <laughs> by choice on a brand new Chic Sparrow, but uh, it was pretty, pretty bad. So in order for me to be able to use it, I had to do something. So I'm actually okay with the finished product. Um, I, think, I think it does have a very aged look, which I like. So I really, and I get a lot of compliments. <laughs> Everybody likes it with all of these marks and everything. But I got the really, really deep scratches out, so I'm happy about that. Um, and so I'm able to use this. This is my daily carry, and I use it as a wallet. And so I'll just give you, it's not quite done yet, um, but I'll just give you a quick walkthrough. Sorry about that. So. I have the pockets in the front where I keep my driver's license and the credit cards, unfortunately, that I use all the time. Um, I put this little arrow here. I'm, gonna, I'm going to put a die cut there for sure. Um, and then I have one of these plastic pouches, but um, they're not very private. So I actually um, put some scrapbooking paper on both sides of it. And then I'm going to decorate it with die cuts on the outside. And then on the inside, I have my receipts and my personal information. This first book, I haven't got any dashboards in here yet. Um, I still have to make them. So right now, I'm just working with just the inserts themselves. Um, so this is a Prima book, and it's really fat. It's the one that actually comes with their planner, um, their traveler's notebook. So I have that one in here. And I decorated it. This paper line is fab scrap. It's really, really old. It's um, high key. And I've used it in a lot of projects because I bought a ton of it and I still love it to death. So, and these, the washi and the sparkly washi and everything is actually the new uh, Prima line that just came out. So I thought that went well. And then these were just some stickers that I had in my stash. So I can't let you read all the notes in this one. I put a little pocket in the front and uh, some sticky notes. And then this is my everything. Like I just, everything that I come across that I need to do, my prayer list and everything. Everything's all kept in here. Um, because I have, um, I have some mental health issues that make it so that my um, memory is not so great. So they told me that I should be carrying around a notebook all the time. So this is kind of my external brain. <laughs> So I keep it right up front so that I remember always to write everything down as soon as somebody asks me. Um, and then I have, these are full of different cards, my blood donor card and different um, store cards. 
and I did the same thing on this side because it actually has a spot where you can keep money. And if I, if my kids know that there's money in there, then they're more apt to grab it to go down to the corner store. So um, I put this in here so it's not quite as uh, readily available, I guess. <laughs> then um, I decorated with more of the fab scraps paper, and I tried to use, keep the washi uh, consistent throughout. So this is my weekly, I think. Yeah, this is my weekly layout. And so I haven't been doing too much decorating just because the kids have been home all summer. So, I mean, if I get washi laid down before they need me, then I'm feeling accomplished. But I'm hoping to decorate it more as we go forward. So that is that insert. The next insert, and, and that's a Prima insert. It, you saw it in my last video. Um, I took it out of my um, Prima Ladylike which I didn't get a chance to, to give away over the summer just because we had a really hectic summer. So um, you can look forward to that being given away in the next month or so. Actually, if you're interested um, in having the Prima Ladylike, and I will put new inserts in it, um, just leave me a comment down below, and I'll just write all the names on a piece of paper and choose someone from there. So in the comments of this video, mention whether or not you would be interested in it um, and be sure that you subscribe to my channel and then you'll get a notice when the next video comes up and I announce who I'm giving it to. Um, this is just a little piece of acetate that I had in a little clear cut pad. I've had it since, oh, I would say I probably have had this 12 years because um, I used to foster and I used to have all these, I had like a string of like 14 or 15 baby girls. So I had all these little um, papers and stuff for little girls, and I don't have little girls anymore, so I thought that one could pass. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide some pictures under there and then use that to protect it. And then this this is just my monthly. Um, so I've got, I kind of just do it for the overview planning. I don't try to put all of the detailed stuff in it. And then the last one, like I told you, is the daily that I don't use um, unless I have like a crazy day. So I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. I'm not sure, we'll see. And then the back, I just have my extra stickers in there. And um, you can see where, oops, that's weird. You see where, you know, I had to rough it up to get rid of some of the dog shoe marks, but there were actual visible almost holes in it from where he bit through and you can't really unless you like look really close you can't even really find them so I'm really happy about that and so I, I do want to do a lot more decorating in this but I just haven't had a chance but now that the kids are going back to school today woohoo um, I'm going to try to get it done in the next week or so Sorry about that guys I get like no phone calls all day and then I get like two in a row that are just like boom boom so um, I was just finishing this up just saying that I had some stickers in the back here um, I, I want to get my clips and things in here but I don't want this to be too bulky or have too many hangovers um, you know just because it does go in and out of my purse and, and I don't want to be constantly dropping paper clips um, so yeah this is my daily carry and that I do have my black pen gem in there, which I really think these write really nicely. So I'm really impressed. I have been looking to get a Coletto, but I don't know. I'm thinking I like this one, so I might just stick with that. So there is my rescued Mr. Darcy, who I still am madly in love with, and he's with me daily. So I hope you enjoyed the walkthrough. And once again, I would not recommend using a wire brush or coconut oil on a Mr. Darcy that isn't terminally ill. So bear that in mind. But if you are kind of as a last resort, um, it did work for me. So you might want to consider it. So you have a great day. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notifications so that you get future video notifications. And follow me on Instagram. It's uh, my grandma's teacups, and yeah, we'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by.